Hello everyone. This is one interesting case that I want to share with you all. Uh, this this is the infant, the baby girl. Today she is around four months old. She was born at term <clears throat> with birth weight of two point five kg. At four months she is three point eight kg. So not gaining weight properly. She presented to us with mild distress. Human animal is stable, but saturations were 60 to 65 percent in room air. With O2 also, the oxygen the oxygen was just going till 70 percent SpO2 in the right arm. So we thought of that this may be a congenital cyanotic heart disease. Okay. So the most common differentials, if you see, it may be unobstructed TAPVC, it may be TA, DTG, it may be TOF or some top physiology so we thought in that uh, in that uh, headings only so uh, we went for an echocardiography in echocardiography i will show you the echocardiographs also this baby so in echocardiography there was a doubtful interrupted aortic arch with large pda but that was not clear so we went for the ct angio and in ct angio the findings i will try to correlate with the echocardiography and after that we started with the treatments the treatment I will tell you what we did and now at presently she is on CPAP 5 cm with FIO2 of 40% and we are targeting the saturation between 85 to 90% we are not increasing it rapidly why so we will discuss so we are doing a pical four chamber view. I am keeping the probe at the apex for the pical four chamber and five chambers. And then we will also go for ductal views. Either way. And ductal views will keep the probe in the high parasternal subclavicular area, pointer pointing at 12 to 1 o'clock position. So let's see what we see in 4 chamber, 5 chamber and ductal views. So here you can see I am doing a pical 4 chamber view. You can see the there is mild dysfunction in the cardiac contractility. RARB is very much dilated. Interventricular septum is going into the left ventricle. Left ventricle is slightly squashed. Functioning is just normal and this is after starting the treatment so what the, and then when I put a color then you can see there is a significant TR jet and here from the PF4 ASD there is right to left shunting there is a significant TR jet pause so first we thought of interrupted aortic arch or TGA or uh, we thought of TGA or some cyanotic heart disease uh, with top physiology but it was not there and now we can see there is a full arch we can see even there was a view that there is a interrupted aortic arch and uh, uh, then PDA is plying the lower uh, part of the aorta of the body but everything there doesn't seem to be an interrupted aortic arch we can see this branches of the aorta and then when we go to the in the ductal view so when we go to the ductal view we could see there was a PDA with bidirectional flow now but which was predominantly right to left as you can see so there was a PDA maybe since birth and SN myangulation has taken place with moderate to severe pulmonary hypertension so <clears throat> we what we did we started with the uh, low dose adrenaline because of the cardiac dysfunction and then milrinone and started with the CPAP. So it was a large PDA more than 3.8 millimeters predominantly right to left shunting because of severe pulmonary hypertension. So we started with the non invasive ventilation CPAP with the milrinone and low dose adrenaline and since after that after 3 to 4 hours the patient's SpO2 increases from 60-65% to 
we are not rapidly increasing the SpO2 because that will again lead to pulmonary vasodilatation and the rush and the gush of blood left to right shunting will uh, uh, cause issues. So that's why we are slowly decreasing the uh, right sided pressures. And hence, after once the baby's uh, hemodynamics and uh, can, uh, cardiac outputs, everything become uh, normalized and there is left to right shunting starts in the PDA and saturations are maintained, then we will plan for the surgical intervention. Thank you.